Thank you so much for purchasing your clap art kit. Today we'll be making a sushi bento box. Apart from your clap kit, you will also need a pair of scissors and some markers or pencil crayons. We're going to start by assembling the bento box. Take out the A piece, the two B pieces, the two C pieces, one D piece, one E piece, and the two F pieces from your kit. First, we're going to stick the C pieces. Peel the backing off the tapes on the two pieces and stick them on opposite sides of the A piece. Next, take the two B pieces and peel the backing off their tapes. Line up the long piece of tape with an uncovered side of the A piece, and the short pieces of tape with the sides of the C pieces from earlier. Stick the other B piece on the opposite side. Peel off the longest piece of tape on top of the A piece and stick the D piece on top of it. Peel off the medium length piece of tape from the A piece and stick the E piece on top. Lastly, peel off the two short pieces of tape from the A piece and stick one F piece on top of each one. Now let's make some sushi. Starting with the maki rolls, stick a small square piece of glitter foam onto a cotton ball or piece of rice. Grab one of the eight wider pieces of black construction paper and peel the backing off the tape. Roll the two ends of the paper towards each other to create a small tube. And put a cotton ball inside the tube. Repeat to make eight total maki sushi rolls. Once you're done, arrange the rolls into the largest section of the bento box. Next, let's make a tamago sushi, or egg sushi. Take a cotton ball and pull and flatten it into more of a cylinder shape. Take the yellow rectangle of foam, peel off the tape, and stick it onto the flattened cotton ball. Then take the narrower piece of black construction paper, peel off the tape, and wrap it around the piece of sushi. Place it into the same section as the rolls. For the two remaining sushi, Cut the glitter foam stickers into rounded rectangles to resemble slices of fish. With the scraps of glitter foam, cut small strips to stick onto the larger rectangles.
flatten the two other cotton balls like you did with the egg sushi. Then peel off the backing from the stickers and stick them onto a cotton ball. When you're done, place the sushi into the bento box. Stick the squiggly piece of green glitter foam onto one side of the sushi section of the bento box. This is like seaweed decoration. Now we're going to make some edamame, or soybean pods. Grab the curved pieces of green foam and stick three small pom-poms onto it to make a bean pod. Make three total edamame and place them into one of the smaller sections of the bento box. Now let's make some tempura, or fried shrimp. Wrap the curved pieces of foam board and the V-shaped pieces of glitter foam. Color the foam board yellow to look like tempura. And stick the glitter foam on the narrower end of the foam boards. To make the tempura look more realistic, you can add little dots or squiggles with an orange marker. Place the tempura in the section next to the edamame. The second last component of the bento box is ginger and wasabi. Arrange the small pieces of yellow foam and the larger green pom-pom in the third small section of the bento box. Last but not least, place the two dowels, your chopsticks, into the long section of the bento box. And there we have it, your very own sushi bento box. Thanks for watching!